What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back and checking out the video. Well, got a 1999 Toyota Camry in the driveway I'm looking at. Um, it's a buddy of mine's and uh, he wants me to look at a few different things that's wrong with this thing. Uh, first and foremost, it doesn't stop, so I need to look at the brakes and uh, find out why it doesn't stop. Pedal kind of just goes right to the floor. And uh, he says there's a squishy noise in the back as far as the suspension goes. Check that out. The passenger front door doesn't open up. You got to use the key or something like that. End up looking at that. And the steering wheel makes some kind of weird creaky noise. All right. And I'm going to go through and kind of look at the whole car and find out what else it needs. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for coming along and uh, joining me for this one. And uh, we'll get on to looking at this thing and finding out what exactly is wrong with this thing. All right. So, let's take this thing on a test drive and uh, see, uh, kind of see what, what's going on with it. As far as the way it stops and see how those struts the struts is pretty simple i mean you sit there and push on it but the pedal just doesn't feel right at all on this thing it just oh yeah it just sometimes it's, it, it actually it's like the pedals and kind of it's, it kind of grabs in different spots it feels like if you let it sit there for a minute goes way down to the ground and then now it's not so much down to the ground that's kind of strange hmm anyways let's go drive this turd try not to crash this bitch like a boat you hit the brakes and it's nothing 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 and then oh and it just stops Yeah, there's like, there's like no pedal, like, you know, there's like no grabbing as far as, like, progressive grabbing, as, I guess you could say, with the pedal. Like, there's nothing, and then it just suddenly just grabs. But, I'm gonna hit the brake, nothing's gonna happen. Hit the brake, not slowing down at all. Pushing in, 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 and it stops. It's kind of scary. As far as it being bouncy, it's, it's, it's as bouncy as it gets, so. Nothing. And then, that's some scary stuff right there. All right, I need to figure that one out. Okay. And the steering wheel it makes this noise here. This is a super easy fix. I'm gonna save that for the next video after this one on how to fix it. It's like super crazy easy. All right, so a little visual real quick. The master doesn't look like it's leaking. You know, it's got brake fluid. All the vacuum hoses that are going to it look like they're okay. The nipple over here looks okay. There's no, there's no fluid anywhere. I don't see any leaks. The brake lines look good. They don't look like they've been jacked with. You know, everything looks kind of like it's just, like it's, it looks old. All right, looks good. That's like still the factory booster and everything. Go Toyota. All the lines run over here to the ABS. The ABS is right over here. Look at that real quick. All right, so the ABS module here. It doesn't look like it's leaking or anything and all the lines you have all your brake lines here brake lines here running they look fine and look down there with the flashlight everything looks good all right so the brake lines look good and the rotors don't look too bad we're missing a stud here and there's no brake pad at least right here there isn't much brake pad on this pad here so i don't see any leaks or anything like that i'm going to take See if I can get see if I can get the caliper off. Okay, that's good. That came off. This guy came off real quick. It's still a 14 millimeter right here. Ugh. Oh, this thing is hard as a rock. This is probably what's going on right here. This slide pin that's right here is definitely, definitely uh, a little bit seized up. They're pretty stiff. But you should be able to wiggle this thing in and wiggle it out. It's getting better the more I do this. This is probably why, part of the reason why the brakes don't feel good because this doesn't move no pads so with this side i'm going to see if i can get the caliper off this bracket 
and uh, clean out those slide pins, clean them up, see if I can get it to work pretty good. Um, I need to test this piston to see if it moves. What I want to do now is I'm going to see if this caliper piston is seized up. I don't have any fancy brake tools in this video today, we're just using a C-clamp and a block of wood. All right. Okay, set that in here. Let's see if I can get this thing to compress. Hopefully it will compress, that means I won't have to buy a caliper. All right, cool. It's definitely moving. All right, that's a good sign here that the piston went in all the way. It's not leaking, it's not, the piston's not cracked or anything like that. It looks pretty good, actually. So what we got, we got a super corroded pen. It's not really super corroded, it's just dry. All right, I'm assuming this one looks the same. This one's not as bad as, I've been kind of jacking with it. Come on, Ugh. dry. And here's a little bushing. These guys like to swell up when you use the wrong brake grease. we will be using silicone. Yeah, so I'm gonna get some new pens, and some new hardware and everything like that for this bracket and try to clean it up a little bit. All right, so the passenger side. And that bolt's not seized up, that's good. Okay, that one's stuck. Okay. Alright, right. so these guys are rock solid, these slide pins. Oh, let's see, and then we have brake pad meat on this side. You have uneven brake pads, that's not a good sign. Yeah, well, this one's pretty low. The inner one's pretty low. The inner one's low here on the driver's side. The outer one was low, so that's not good. <sighs> Alright, so the caliper will not compress. Um, this thing, it, it compressed for like a second there, but it will not push in at all. So this caliper is definitely seized up. Slide pins are bad. On the other side, still got a good caliper. Just need to work on the slide pins. So I'm gonna go ahead and order um, some slide pins. I'm gonna order a whole caliper assembly for this side. I'm gonna save my buddy. He wants to go ahead and get some new rotors while we're doing it. Gonna have to get some brake pads. So we do the whole thing today. All right. So we ended up getting some new brake pads, a new caliper. Got two rotors. Got some hardware. Okay. Got these uh, some new slide pins for the driver's side over there. And we got this new seal kit. Also, we're gonna install over there. So the caliper comes with everything we need as far as washers and the little banjo bolt and the hardware for the brake pads. Everything's in here. So I got everything. Got me some Wagner brake pads. I'll open these up in a minute. Brake fluid. And then uh, this is the grease we're going to go with. So we're going to go with silicone paste. This is the safest thing you can use. This is made for brake parts. It will not swell rubber, which could be why um, we're having problems here with that guy over there. It's because the little you know the little seal the little rubber piece that's on the end of this guy ends up blowing up when you use the wrong grease on it all right let's get rid of this old pin mm. hang this guy up out of my way the kit it comes with some new boots I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tap these out and tap these new ones in and these are the ones that like to swell up so we got the new slide pin the new bolt okay. and this little guy goes on top of here a little bit on here put this guy together real quick gotta slide that on there like that Wham. Boom, it's fly right out. Bam. Have to kind of clean this out. A little pipe cleaner if I had one, I'll probably end up I'm just the brake clean in here. And I'll scrape it out. Hit it with some sandpaper and some stuff. It's 
still feels pretty smooth. Actually, it's going to break up some of that rusty, crusty junk. This is some good stuff. Check it out. This is some uh, little anti-noise little pad that I have on the brake pad hardware. There's some good stuff right here. Just gotta make sure you put these in the right way, okay? Alright, so the old brake pads are missing these right here. If you look, there's little holes in the pads. It's missing these little clips. These help with noise, okay? They just go in these little holes. Okay. They pretty much just kind of keep the brake pad tension off the rotor. Cuts down on vibration and stuff. Which vibration turns into brake noise. All right, well this side's all done. We'll just go to the other side and replace that caliper and we should be good to go. All right, got the rotor changed out. Got the cal old caliper hanging. I haven't disconnected any lines yet. Here's my brand, uh, re my remanufactured caliper here. It comes with everything I need. It comes with brake hardware and it comes with the banjo bolt and it comes with washers. It's good when they come with washers because you can't reuse the washers. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and mount this up right now, and then I'll end up taking it off the bracket and hooking the line up. So, okay, fold it around like that. Yep. Okay, so we got new banjo bolt, new washers. Okay, we're gonna just transfer the line over to the new one. Break that loose, stick this on here, go over here. But first I want to show you this. This this tool right here is really gonna save you some time as far as bleeding goes. This is a little line pinch off tool. Okay. And the way it works is just you just screw it onto the line and it pinches it off. That way bleeding is gonna be a lot faster, a lot quicker. So all we gotta do is open it up, stick it right here, stick it over here, and just clamp the line down. Do our best not to get it on the brake pads or anything. Stick this, move this out of here. You can see that the line really isn't bleeding everywhere. But it does a good job of blocking off that. So look, it's not really leaking anywhere. These old brass washers you cannot reuse. You can reuse this if you wanted to, but you can't reuse this. This is actually, yeah, you can't reuse this. There we go, no problem. New caliper, new rotor, new pads. All we gotta do now is bleed it, and uh, you can go get a buddy to help you bleed it. Uh, I don't have a buddy with me right now, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it by myself. All right, so we got a one-man brake bleeder tool. These things are super freaking cool, and uh, they got so cheap on Amazon now. This one here, picked it up for 18 bucks. All we're gonna do is hook this up to the bleeder here, open the bleeder, and then you just hook the tool up to some uh, air, compressed air, and pull the trigger, and it will bleed the brakes. All right. All right, guys, well, it's the next day. I kind of ran out of time yesterday. Uh, just kind of cleaned up, turned the car around, but uh, we'll go on a test drive here and see uh, see how good it feels now. Uh, just from turning it around last night, I can already tell that it is a whole lot better as far as the brake pedal. It's consistently in the same spot now. Not going all the way to the floor or grabbing anywhere we are going for, so. No noise, no nothing. So what usually happens is when you go and start fixing
car that has a lot of miles like this and start knocking out the things that are really obvious, you start noticing other things, okay? I'm gonna go burn these guys in real quick. Yeah, so now what you notice with this car is it has a big fat exhaust leak. So, and the squeaky steering wheel. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for this video. Brakes work good in this thing. Yeah, I got them nice and fixed. No noise, no nothing. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna deal with this uh, squeaky steering wheel. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. So, uh, uh, look forward to that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, do me a favor and uh, hit the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you guys uh, take care, be safe. Have a great weekend. Catch you later. a little bit <laughs> but she stops now